Hey, how are we doing? It's JJ. It is a bitterly, bitterly cold weekend. Average temperatures with a wind chill have been down to about minus seven, minus eight on average. And, uh, just been cooped up, really not feeling like I've wanted to go outdoors that much. But sometimes you just need 20 minutes, half an hour in the woods. So that's what we're doing today. Do you know what? I've kind of been sat at home going from a kit, tidying up bits and bobs of kit, and um, you kind of realise just how much kit you got. And when you keep accumulating kit, you kind of think, why am I not using that anymore? Oh my God, I forgot about that. And uh, do you know what? Looking from the pics and that, I've just kind of realised that there's one piece of kit that I keep going back to time and time again. And that's this baby here. So it's just a camping stove. Very basic camping stove. Yep. So this is the Camping Gaz Easy Click. Yep. I've done a review on this way back when I first started my channel. And I still find myself using it. You know, I've, I've got other systems that I use and I absolutely love those. But I keep going back to this. Why? Because it's simple and it's effective to use. It really is. So this is just the head unit. Uh, this, weighs, this weighs 263 grams. Okay, it's got the classic free legs that come out and hold on come out and hold on and underneath the actual there's a windshield there like a heat protector to protect your hands when you're just adjusting the, the gas flow and camping gas has been going for years and years and years and do you know what I know they're not seen as the most fashionable they're not really you know a trendy sort of brand for a lot of the, the campers and that to use but who cares when you've got a product that works really well keep using it absolutely brilliant so in my cup I've actually got one of the gas bottles and that's the beauty of these and that's one of the features and the functions that I really like so this is the easy click system let me just come in here okay it's a really secure fitting system and that literally is so easy that you just push that on push that down twist it and there you go now there's three versions of this okay this is the um the, the first one they do is called the the click plus pz you know a piezo starter so you just push a button it's like an electronic um to get the the gas burning when you open it so the piezo, the piezo i'm not too fond of the piezo systems because that that's an electrical component that can go wrong and then this this is just the, the basic click plus and they do a micro and that as well. I generally tend to use the middle of the range um, bottles, which is obviously a butane protein um, bottle. This is the CV300 plus. The actual bottle itself weighs about 300, uh, sorry, 240 grams. Um, it's rated to about, was it 2,900 watts and it will give you a rolling boil in about three minutes 45 and it will burn continuously on the highest sort of burn off for about one hour ten so it's not too bad that's enough waffling let's just pop that down is that going to be in shot uh, let's just move back slightly then shot that'll do you there you go i've had this for about three or four years I was using a previous version which I gave to my dad and um, yeah, I've just used them for years and years I say I did a review on this about I don't know two or three years back two or three years yeah about that and that's just got loads and loads of views it really has so I'm just sorting out my kit <laughs> just a little bit of an impromptu visit so let's just Get it going. Pull the water in. 
just enough for a brew. Pop that down. Pop that on. Move my handles out of the way. And let's just fire this up. So we're just gonna get that going. There you go. Right, a couple of things about this. I'm actually just gonna pop my, let's pop that on there. Yeah. Let's talk about the downsides of this. All right, it's not seen as the most fashionable, okay, against all your fancy jet boils, against your MSRs or anything like that. One of the downsides for me on this is that it stands quite tall, yeah? Now, you can get a little sort of base stand for it to sit on to become more stable. I generally don't tend to actually use those. As you see, just when I pop that down, even on frozen ground, I just dig it into the ground. But it stands quite high, okay? So one of the downsides of that is that obviously if it's standing high, unless you've got a little bit of protection, which I have here from like this cut down tree and the, the, the logs that are surrounding it, you need to have a windshield, yeah? On really windy days, you're gonna to need to use a windshield to actually protect the flames. Yeah. Which I don't actually particularly need, but I'm showing you that just for effect today. It stands high, so obviously you've got to be really careful, even when it's got the base stand on it. I've, I've never used the base stand, because it's just one more piece of equipment that you need to actually bring out with you. Um, it stands high, you've got to watch when you've got a big pot on there, um, just, just against wind, against kind of like pushing it over. You know, a lot of the systems now, they've moved to a lower ground-based system where the actual gas pipe essentially comes off and the bottle is at the side, and that's where I think they're kind of missing the trick on this. Um, I think the actual wind, uh, sorry, the heat deflector above the gas knob could be a little bit bigger. Just get that going. What's another downside? Well, for me, the actual weight of the unit yeah it's not a lot it's 263 grams it could be smaller now even in the box that it comes in that's really secure and that but it's a little bit bulky in terms of the actual size of some of the other systems that are out there at the moment but it doesn't bother me I've got used to it I continuously use it and I've got used to that size plus points it's got loads okay they've been making these for years years and years. I used them in scouts, I used them in the cadets, I've used them for 20 odd years plus. You can walk into pretty much any hardware store and find a replacement bottle, three different bottles. Any hardware store, any hardware store you can go into. If you're out on a trip or an expedition and something's actually gone wrong with your burner and you just need to replace the actual head unit itself, you're going to go into most camping shops out and about. Let's just say for example in like the Peak District or something like that or in Wales, you're going to go into every single camping shop and they're going to have one of these. Yeah, you can go into your go outdoors, your decathlons, other shops are available, but you can always find replacement bottles and if need be, something goes wrong with this, you just get another unit to replace it. Average price for this is about £22.50 up to £25. They're robust, they work, it's very, very effective. The price is a pretty good sort of point as well. You know, the bottles are a fiver. You can get a really big, big bottle, you know, which is great for a long, long weekend if you're not moving off too far. This CV300 is perfect. It fits in the cup. It does the job that I need it to. Been going for years. Do you know what? It just does a really good job. Yeah, it could be a little bit more compact. I mean, they do do a lot of a micro one, but even that's kind of big by comparing it to so many other ones that are out there. But it just does a really good job. It's a really good system, I think, for beginners um, to get into and learn and move along with, and then you start buying other systems. It just does a really good job. That's why I still get it out, and I get it fired up, and I enjoy a brew of it. The Camping Gaz Click Plus system. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna get my brew on. I'm gonna have a quick coffee. And I'm going to get out of here because it's absolutely bitterly cold. Listen, thanks for tuning in. Catch up again soon. The Camping Gaz Click Plus system. Always been a part of my kit. Always will. For those reasons. Yeah, does a great job. It's cheap for the price. 
the weight's pretty reasonable it just works spares are hard uh, easy to get hold of job done boom catch you again soon bye